the is eating a fruitarian diet and one day makes a not optimal decision uh -huh. and eats something cooked dehydrated. Right. And he wants to um, make up, like, compensate that. Yeah. The best thing to do is next day um, do a water fast to hydrate that mm -hmm. or eat like watermelon, a super high water content fruit that has fiber to eliminate all that stuff. Yeah, if it's one meal we're talking about, you probably don't need to fast. You can probably just go back to eating well and your body will take care of it. Now one of the things that happened, I'll give you an example. Um, about not quite three years ago, uh, my ex-girlfriend Ray was, was here. She had completed her fast and she'd been living on fruit and salad following my recommendations for about three years prior to coming. Had never eaten any prepared raw food, only fruit and salad. And we went off to Nicaragua to spend a few days and to renew our visas. And there, we were in a little town that happened to have a raw vegan restaurant. I said, hey, I'll t let's go to this place. It might be fun, right? She was like, okay. So we went there. Now, the next day, we left town. We were taking a bus back to Costa Rica. So we're on the bus, and neither one of us eats breakfast. So we're on the bus in the afternoon. I reach into my backpack, take out a bag of fruit, and start. And it's like, you want some? She's like, no, I don't want anything. My stomach is a mess. I can't eat anything. Okay? It took her five days to recover from that one meal. I was perfectly fine by the next afternoon. Okay? I mean, I felt it. And in fact, so where in a typical week, I might drink a couple glasses of water, two, three glasses of water. She's, she's drinking still several liters a day. And when we left the restaurant, right, I can taste my, I'm going, let's stop and pick up, because we, we were going to a hotel that was 15 minutes from the center of town by car. Like, let's pick up a bunch of water. I'm going to be drinking water tonight and tomorrow. And sure enough, I probably drank two or three liters of water in the next 24 hours, because I could feel the need for it, okay? But just drinking the water and eating, again, all the stuff was gone. In fact, it was gone the next morning, in my case, not in her case. So what happens is, if you have someone who eats normally, you have someone whose body is still quite toxic and dehydrated, they could eat that food and feel perfectly normal because that is their normal, okay? They're not gonna feel any different because that's how they always feel. If you take someone who's, whose body is in the process of cleansing, they're transitioning, but they're not there yet, they're gonna be hit pretty hard. It's gonna be a big setback, right? Did we talk about the why not to tie your shoes when pushing a car up a hill? We have that conversation? I'll sh we'll share that with you. Uh, maybe today. So we'll come back to that idea. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you're in this process, you're going to want to keep making excellent choices, right? Um, so after I moved to Costa Rica, I had rented, I'd lost my place in Panama, I had nothing, and I'm staying in a place an hour from town, and I've got to be able to get to town. So I bought this, this old car, it was a complete piece of crap, it was an old Toyota Land Cruiser, but it was falling apart. Uh, I think it was the paint that was holding all the rust together, basically. Um, and I, you know, I knew it was bad, but I figured I can get back and forth to town, it's not that far, and then I'll fix it over time. And the session ended, I had rented a new place, I'd signed a lease on a place that we were gonna move into, but I wasn't gonna move into it until we, just before we opened, because it was expensive. You know, housing for 15, 12 people, well, I didn't need that. So I've got about six weeks, I'm tooling around, uh, the beaches in southern Costa Rica in this old car and one day I go to explore up in the mountains and the day before the handbrake had cord had broken so I had no handbrake the cable broke and I'm on this hill and the car dies and I've got no brakes either the brakes are gone right so and I'm on a hill I'm like what do I do and at the bottom of the hill there's a river so I'm thinking Shit. so I jump out and I get behind the car, right? And I'm thinking, I've got to go find rocks, but I've got to push it to a place where it's flat enough where I can leave it for a few minutes to go find some rocks to get under the tires so I can go find help, because I didn't have a cell phone that worked there. There's no cell signal. So I get behind this truck, and it's, it's, if, you, if you don't know this thing, it's like a little truck, right? They're heavy and solid. And I push it 
takes me about an hour to, to get it up to a place where it's flat enough that I can leave it and go find rocks. By the time I'm done, I am completely drenched with sweat. So in that hour while I'm pushing the car up the hill, it probably would not have been a good time to stop and tie my shoe. Okay? Can't afford to stop and tie your shoe while you're in this process. You have to just get it done. You guys, for many of you, getting from where you are now to where you'd like to be, where you're feeling amazingly well and incredibly vibrant and hydrated, etc., it's kind of like pushing a car up a hill. Okay? Now, when you get to the top of the hill with the car, and the, the ground is pretty flat, pushing it's not very difficult. Right? And if you've got a car that's already moving on flat ground, a little kid could keep it going. It doesn't take much power to keep that moving once it's already got some momentum. Okay? So if you encounter a little bump in the road, not that big a deal. You can get on tr back on track pretty easily. But when you're here, you can't afford to make exceptions. Okay? You guys will do what you want to, but my, my strong advice to you is stick with the program I'm going to give you because it's going to allow you to get to the point where you're cruising along. How long it takes is going to vary from person to person. Yeah, that was my next question. It's going to vary from person to person. Six weeks and not two months, three months. Well, six weeks because six weeks seemed like an amount of time that most people would be willing to try to do. If I said to you, here's the plan for the rest of your life, most people would never look at it. Like, I'm, uh, that's no way. Six, oh, yeah, see, I can do six weeks. You can do six weeks, can't you? And here's the thing. You need to think about six weeks. I mean, six weeks, most people are going to get to the point where they're functioning really, really well. Okay? And if you're still not sure at that point that you should continue with this program, at that point, feel free to eat whatever you think is the healthiest cooked meal you can eat. I guarantee you you're not going to feel well. I guarantee it. Okay? Because your body is going to be cleaner, more efficient than it's ever been before. You go eat steamed vegetables and brown rice, your body's going to react to it as if it's been poisoned. Okay? But only because it has. Only because that cooked food is actually toxic to your body. Only because cooking food actually creates toxic compounds. And your body, now clean enough to recognize what belongs and what doesn't, is going to react the way it always wanted to, but was never able to before. And if we don't get that response, that means that we have more cleaning out to do? Probably would mean that, but everyone gets the response. I mean, if you know, fasting, if you fast long enough, like you're going to, 21 days is long enough, and you stick with this program for six weeks after a week of refeeding, you will see a, re a reaction. I can guarantee. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're interested in more information about fasting in general, we've got a playlist there. If you're interested in fasting for specific conditions, you can check out that list. If you want to hear what people experience was in their own words, we've got a group there. And then we've got another one, which is all about optimal diet and how to maximize your health.